What is going on everybody? Welcome back to your third C++ tutorial. And in this tutorial, what we're going to be covering is something called variables. Now, variables are extremely important in C++. Every single program we're going to be building is going to have variables in it. So, you know, we obviously need to know how to use them and what they are. So, let's go ahead and revisit the history of variables so let's travel back to let's say fifth grade math class when we first learned about variables now what a variable is is pretty much a placeholder for something else it's something that you you know can change if you need to that's probably why they call it a variable and like I said it takes the place of something else so let me go ahead and type something and by the way this isn't code or anything I'm just typing this uh to show you guys an example so if your fifth grade teacher went ahead and wrote on the board x equals ham and then under it she wrote I like x then you knew she was trying to say I like ham because all you do is you take ham and you plug it in for x now if you change ham to Oreos like my math teacher loved she was huge and now same sentence I like x now it can mean something totally different. I like Oreos. So that pretty much is what a variable is. It's something that you can use to store something else. Pretty useful. But how would this be useful in computer programming? Well, let's go ahead and start talking about that now. So there is my little uh, you know, background history lesson of variables and my fifth grade math class. Now let's go ahead and start typing some code. Whenever we create a variable, what we have to do first is write something called the declaration. Now what the declaration does is it says, first of all, what's the name of your variable and what type of data are you going to be storing in it? Well, you write the type of data first and we're going to go ahead and write int. Now what int is short for is integer and in case you uh, can't remember, this is whole numbers like 34. 16 1 it can't even be 0 it can be any whole number but it can't have a fraction it can't be like 16.2 or 18.178 it has to be a whole number so that's what an int is now go ahead and name your variable anything you want I'm gonna name mine you know X looks good and go ahead and add a semicolon bam that's the declaration statement that's all you need now the second part of creating a variable is you need to make an assignment statement you need to take a value and assign it to this variable so let's go ahead and hit X and your assignment operator is equals X equals and go ahead and write any integer number I'm gonna write 23 because that's my age so now what we have right here is the declaration statement and the assignment statement and now we have a variable called X and it's equal to 23 so now whenever we use X in our program instead of just printing out X it's gonna print out 23 pretty cool huh so let's go ahead and do that right now so C out let's make a short little program Bucky is in out of space and now check this out instead of using uh, quotation marks like this and writing a word in between just go ahead and write X whenever you use variables they can't be in between quotation marks because if you do this then it's going to print out the letter X so go ahead and get rid of those quotation marks and just hit X so now our program is going to read Bucky is 23 and let's just add uh, one more line years old to finish up the program now actually let me just uh, end that line which is like hitting the return key and let me check for errors real quick looks good compile and run this baby and check this out it says Bucky is and instead of writing X it plugged in the value we wanted for X this little thing popped away 23 years old so how awesome is that we have finally learned how to use variables and what the program did is automatically substituted that value for the variable and you know it did the rest of the work for us pretty sweet huh so now let's go ahead and let me teach you guys something else you cool you can do with variables and that's changing the value so what you can do is since they are a variables and since the value can change 
let's go ahead and change that right now go ahead and take that x variable and set it equal to I don't know x minus 10 so what this is going to do is it's going to use arithmetic to take the old x value which was 23 subtract 10 from it which gets the new value of 13 and stores it in x again so now after this line whenever we use x it now has the new value of 13 so let me prove that to you guys um, Bucky is now x years old and now let me just go ahead and might as well end that line so it looks good and yeah it looks good so let's go ahead execute compile and run this and check this out the first line it says Bucky is 23 years old we already know that and now we change the variable and set a new value for X so now the program reads Bucky is now 13 years old so again Bucky is 23 years old we change the variable right here so now whenever you write code in the program it changed to Bucky is now 13 years old so that is how you can use arithmetic in mathematical functions to change the value of x. Another thing you can do is simply reassign x, put like a 34. You don't need to use arithmetic. If you go ahead and compile and run this, it says Bucky is 23 years old. Bucky is now 34 years old since we plugged in a new value for x. But that's just a, you know a way of looking at how you can take a variable and assign different values to it and, you know, it's pretty obvious what went on here so no need to explain so that is basics of variables and I mean this wasn't a very useful program we could have just wrote Bucky is 23 years old or Bucky is 34 years old on one line of text but in the future you're gonna see why variables are useful and they're gonna be most of the time you're not just gonna be able to write everything on one line for example if you want the user to enter their own custom number and print that out then that would be an example of when a variable would be useful. So uh, that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial. I'm going to quit rambling now, but thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys understand a little bit what a variable is. We're going to be covering more in the upcoming tutorials. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.